Hi, welcome back everybody. Mr. Old Mato here and today we're going to be looking at creating a super simple collage inside of an app called Photopea. And the app is actually a web-based app, which is fantastic. So let's go ahead and uh, jump into it. All right, let's go, let's go ahead and go into uh, photopea.com. It will load a what looks like a Photoshop alternative, which is fantastic. Uh, first thing we're going to do is once we're loaded here, we're going to go up to File, New. Perfect. And over here, we're going to name this um, our favorite cartoon. Okay, so in my case, I'm going to jump in here and type in the Simpsons or one of your favorite cartoons. Doesn't really matter. Or just any cartoon, right? Uh, just make sure it's school appropriate and we are good to go. All right, so this is our new project window. I'm going to jump over here to our templates. I'm going to click on screen and I'm going to click on full HD. Okay, these are just essentially different sizes for your projects. So if you know you're going straight to social media and you, you're doing an Instagram story, you can do that straight from here, right? If you're doing a... Um, a YouTube uh, thumbnail um, cover images um, you know tons of options here so I'm gonna just jump into screen for now and I'm gonna click on full HD and you'll notice that it says 1920 by 1080 fantastic background we can leave white for now and I'm gonna click create so far so good okay all right um, now I'm gonna go ahead and open up a new tab I'm gonna type in the name of my uh, cartoon so I'm gonna type in the Simpsons logo Okay, I'm going to click over to images, I'm going to click on tools, I'm going to set my color to transparent, okay, because we want to get uh, an image that has an alpha channel, this one looks pretty good, this one looks pretty good as well, um, okay, perfect, so the way we get it into Photopea is super simple, um, you want to make sure, you never want to click on the thumbnail here, okay, you want to go ahead and click on uh, the image so it pops up and renders fully on the right side, okay, so I'm going to go ahead and just click on this one, looks good. I'm going to make sure it fully loads. I'm going to right click. I'm going to choose copy image. Okay, and I'm using Google Chrome for now. Then I'm going to jump back over here. I can go up to edit and paste. Okay, or I can do, com I'm on a Mac, so I can do command V. Or if you're on a PC or Windows or Chromebook, you can hit control V as in Victor. Okay, and that'll give you a... Uh, a copy of this okay now I'm using the move tool currently so all the different tools are here today we're gonna to be using the move tool and we're gonna be using the gradient tool okay so if you're here on the move tool go ahead and click on here the keyboard shortcut for the move tool is the letter V as in victory okay so I can hit V to, to get my select tool or I can hit G for my gradient tool okay so my gradient tool will cycle through uh, gradient and the paint bucket which you might be familiar with okay now I'm gonna jump back into my move tool I'm gonna make sure that auto select is turned on I'm gonna uh, make sure that transform is uh, turned on okay uh, don't mind this I'm gonna just trash that okay and I'm gonna I don't need one copy of this so I'm gonna grab that and I'm just gonna leave it here for the time being okay all right cool now let's go ahead and jump into uh, one of the characters okay so I'm gonna jump now into uh, Homer Simpson okay or Simpson right one of the uh, all-time greats and then I'm gonna click on that first one I can see that it pulls up with this checkered background it means that it's transparent I'm gonna see if I can grab a little bit higher quality one um, this one looks a little eh, it's a little bit higher you can also filter up here by size but I'm gonna just um, I'm gonna leave it at uh, just default for now um, but typically you want to grab um, some high resolution uh, images so again I'm gonna right click choose copy jump over here command V super simple you see that Technically, it, technically, you don't really want to scale up ever. You really, you always want to just scale down. But in this case, it's uh, not too bad. Okay. Now, if you ever want to scale an image up, okay, you want to make sure that your transform controls are on, so you can see that box around your layer that you've selected. Okay. Um, you want to grab one of the corners and you want to drag and you want to hold down Shift as you drag. If I let go of Shift, you'll see that it starts squeezing my character and doing kind of weird. Um, things okay, so you want to keep that aspect ratio uh, locked in so you can do that by clicking the corner dragging and then holding down shift okay and so that also I'm gonna just scale them up about there and put them there perfect alright so I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing for my other characters okay so I'm gonna type in uh, Marge Simpson okay um, perfect uh, this one looks uh, pretty good perfect right click actually this has a little uh, title here so I'm just going to find one without uh, anything on there. This one looks pretty good. All right, so I'm going to do right click and copy. 
I'm gonna click here, paste, right? And again, she's a little small, so I'll just technically you wanna get higher quality images, but you know, this is not that big of a deal. Now, the one thing you wanna take into consideration is scale, okay? So um, I wanna make sure that I'm scaling the characters as best I can, okay? So I'm gonna do that. Uh, Marge looks pretty good. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into Bart now. Uh, paste, because okay, so now this is a good size image, you see that? So this is kind of what you want, but I'm gonna go ahead and just scale him down because he's far too big. Okay, so he looks about, uh, he still looks a little big, so let me, about there is probably right. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and jump back into Simpson. Okay, uh, so I'm gonna click on that one. Nope, click on that one. Nope, I'm gonna click on that one. Nope, nope. Uh, perfect, all right, so I'm gonna click a uh, copy image, boom. So now we got Maggie in here. Okay, and then all we need now is a uh, Lisa Simpson. So let's go ahead and grab a Lisa Simpson. Perfect. And this one looks solid. Right click, copy image over here, Command V, boom. Okay, and then of course, we can't forget the dog. I forget the dog's name. Uh, I forget the guy's, uh, Santa's little helper. There we go. Santa's little helper. All right, I'm gonna right click, copy image, and boom. Scale him up just a tad, and put them all the way over here, okay? So now I got all my Simpsons characters in here, right? Looks fantastic. All right, so now I have all my Simpsons characters in here. If you ever wanna flip a character, you can, um... oh, by the way, one thing I forgot to mention is if you're ever scaling, when you're scaling your characters, so let's say I was scaling this dog, uh, Santa's little helper here, um, you always got to make sure that uh, you have to confirm or cancel your transformation because okay, so you can do that by here by confirming it with the check mark, canceling it with the um, with the X. You can double click on the image here. You can hit return or you can hit uh, cancel to uh, cancel it out. Um, I like to typically hit double click on the image and then that confirms my uh, transformation. Okay. All right. So this is all good. Uh, next thing you want to do is you want to go over here to your layers. Okay, and you can hide your layers. Okay, this is not deleting them, this is just simply hiding them. And you can, um, I wanna just rename these, okay? So I'm gonna jump in with Homer, okay? So I'm gonna click on Homer over here. I'm gonna click on where it says layer four, and then I'm gonna name it uh, Homer, okay? I'm gonna click on Marge, click on layer five, type Marge, okay? And then go ahead and just do this for all your uh, characters. All right, so this is Maggie. This is Lisa. Um, uh, this is Santa's little helper. Santa's little helper. All right, and then our background is that. That's all good. Okay, and then we have our uh, uh, the Simpsons title here. Okay, this just helps with um, moving stuff around and getting things organized and all that good stuff. Okay, at this point, let's go ahead and go up to File and then hit Save as PSD. Go ahead and uh, save this to your computer somewhere, okay, um, where you can find it. Make sure it's an Adobe Photoshop file. Uh, name it properly up here and make sure you're able to find that file, okay, so we don't lose our progress. All right, um, next step, we're gonna create our gradient, all right? So this is the, probably the trickiest part of everything, but um, should be fairly simple to get done, okay? So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna click on our background. We're gonna unlock the background here. I'm gonna click on my gradient tool, or if you remember, letter G for the keyboard, okay? Um, you, I'm gonna set this to radial because I want a radial gradient. You can experiment with these other um, types of gradients if you'd like. Um, so, and I'm gonna click on the color palette here. Okay, so um, you wanna make sure you're selecting colors that uh, work well for your uh, your image. Okay, so I know my image is. Um, let me bring uh, Santa's little helper back. Um, so these, you know, are my characters are yellow here. So I'm gonna do something that's kind of like a like a bluish color, okay? But a gradient simply means that you're blending two colors together, okay? So we're gonna create this kind of spotlight looking background that looks kind of cool. So first thing we want to do is we have two boxes here. I'm gonna click on this left box on the bottom left, click here, and I'm gonna set this to about a 10% gray, okay? So wherever whatever color you're at right here doesn't really matter. You want to set drag this up to about 10% gray up there, okay? I'm gonna click OK. Here, okay, so now that color is set to 10% uh, gray, approximately, okay? My other color over here, I'm gonna set this to um, the color that I want the background to be. So I'm gonna do some kind of uh, kind of cool looking uh, blue, okay? So I'm gonna go about there. That looks pretty good, and that looks good, okay? So I'm going from a light uh, color, about 10% gray, to uh, blue, okay? Kind of a sky blue 
uh, baby blue. Okay, so I'm going to hit OK. And then the gradient, it's a simple tool. I'm selected on my background. I unlocked it. And now I just click and I drag. See how it gets two lines? Okay, so if you notice, it just creates this little spotlight. Okay, the longer you drag this line, the more of a spotlight you get. Okay, the, the larger and more feathered it is. Okay, I think it's going to look cool if I create the spotlight right here where the uh, character name is. Or the, sorry, the... Um, the uh, logo itself. Okay, so it's kind of creating a spotlight there. Also, you can click and drag here as much times as you want. And you can see it just keeps updating the layer. Okay, so you can, if you mess up, just no worries, just go ahead and just do it again. Okay, so you can do it here in the middle if you'd like. Okay, play around with how far that spotlight um, uh, is softened up, right? Um, so you, if you go very little, it's very harsh, right? I prefer a little bit longer, a little bit more, a little more of a blend between the colors. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and just blend there and done. That looks good. Right, I can hide that layer, right? That's how cool that looks. I can hide any one of these layers, right? Clicking and dragging will hide a bunch of them at, at one time or have everything fixed and set up like that, all right? Oh, by the way, before I leave, uh, make sure you uh, file save your final product, okay? So you have that um, and then, cool. And then last thing we're gonna do is gonna go hit file, export, and then uh, PNG, okay? Or JPEG, either one of those works, okay? Um, I like PNG. It's supposedly a little bit higher quality. I don't know. That's what they say. Uh, but JPEG, both of these will, will look pretty well. Okay, when you're done with this, uh, you're good to go. And then go ahead and upload this to our discussion so everybody else can take a look at your uh, what you created. All right, sounds good. Uh, reach out if you have any questions.